let's talk about the number two thing you need to know as it relates to loneliness and team connection. Loneliness isn't shameful, it's a signal. We haven't talked about loneliness for, this, for the, the history of humanity because we, we, we think it's shameful and I want to destigmatize loneliness. So I want to start with a, a brief story. So I was recently speaking at an event um, and the CEO of a large telecom company was actually doing my introduction. And I've got the best job because I get to speak on stages all around the world about f fun ideas and innovative uh, ways of looking at the future of work. But this particular session, he opened up his statement, his intro of my session, which was all about connection and loneliness. He said this, you are not meant to feel lonely. That's how he opened up his remarks. And I just about threw up <laughs> when I heard that. So he was talking to a room of, of about this size, about 500 folks. And when he said that comment, do you th if there were people in there that had a sense of isolation, that were, felt like they were feeling lonely or disconnected from the organization, do you think that comment made them feel more included or less included? Less, right? Because if you're feeling that and now, now your, your senior leader tells you that you're not meant to feel that, you're going to retreat even further, being like, I must be the only one that's experiencing this. What's wrong with me? So that is part of the reason why we have to start talking about loneliness is because even, even the most you know, sharpened, sharpest and educated and practiced leaders aren't getting this right. Uh, and even, it comes to find out, he was actually reading from a memo that he had sent his entire company with the title, you are not meant to feel lonely. So after this, I got up on stage and I had my work cut out for me <laughs> that day, needless to say. So this was the message I constantly hammered on. Didn't, didn't disrespect the CEO because you know, we're all on this journey to try to understand loneliness more. But this is what I, I kept saying and kept hammering and I want to constantly reinforce with you and that is loneliness is universal and it's useful. It's not shameful, it's a signal. And it's universal. We all experience this. It's a universal human condition and in fact, it's useful. I'll tell you more about that in just a minute. So let's briefly back up. Let's look at the human history of loneliness. So humans are social creatures. We have a deep desire to be accepted for, cared for, and involved in meaningful community. And these desires, they were and they continue to be essential for you and I's survival. So think back to our ancestors who roamed the plains. There was safety in numbers to where if you got excluded from that group, your survival rate plummeted because <laughs> there was a lot of things ready to devour you. So there was safety in numbers. So our body literally wants that community. It wants that sense of belonging because there's protection. We were able to pool our resources. We could watch each other's back. We could leverage each other's strengths. We performed better. We were healthier uh, as one, as a community. So loneliness was lethal back then. It was literally lethal in the very, very, very uh, real sense. But today, loneliness still triggers the same stress state which leads to inflammation in the body, which damages blood vessels, tissues, ultimately impacts our performance at work. So how do we, here's a quick example of how to satisfy a human need. So if you are hungry, you grab an apple. Similarly, uh, if you're experiencing loneliness, you should forge a connection. 